Crafty Purple Dragon. I've just got an unboxing. Um, well, plus this. Show you this. Um, this came the other day. It's not specifically diamond painting related, but I will be using it on my frames. Um, specifically, my frame for this when it arrives. Um, I've ordered a white frame to frame this in um, because it was the cheapest option. But what I want to do is make it purple with this. Um, Oh, this is like a lilac colour. I can't remember what the colour name is. What does it say? Majestic purple, apparently. Um, on the lid. So, I've had a mess about with it on the back of the packaging. Um, and as you can see, it leaves a lovely metallic shimmer. Um... And then what I might do is, I haven't trialled it yet, but I might put the, uh, where is it? I might put this glittery Mod Podge over the top of it to seal it. Um, and to add a bit more glitter to the frame. So that's the plan anyway, but I'm waiting for the frame for this to arrive before I can actually do that and now I can't put this back just bear with me a sec uh, okay what's that no. right So that, that's the reason I got that. Um, I can't remember how much it was. Um, I didn't write it in my book because it's not specific to diamond painting. But I do like the effect um, that it's given on here. What I'm not sure about is whether or not to sand down the surface. Because this feels like quite a porous surface. So I'm not sure how this would sit. I mean, it, there's no... Now it's sort of dried on, there's no transfer. There's bits all over the place because I did it, did it with my finger. So I rubbed off the excess onto here, off my finger. Um, but now it's dry. There's no transfer, so I'm not sure. Um, hopefully... If I just put it over the top of the frame, let it dry, buff it up, it says buff it. You don't really need to buff it, but it says buff it. Um, and then put a coat of Mod Podge on it. Um, that would stop it lifting off anyway. So that's what I'm thinking at this stage. So that was that. Was that. Uh, this came on the 6th of February. It's a diamond painting. I can tell <laughs> in the shape. And it says diamond picture on the outside. Ooh, okay. So this is, um, should be this which is described as a dog in the listing but I don't see it as a dog, I see it as a bear I don't know about you um, so I'm calling it Rainbow Bear it's a bear for me and there's a QR code should you so wish. Okay, uh, so this was uh, received on the 6th. Uh, 
so it was ordered on the 7th of January sent on the 9th of January received on the 6th of February uh, it's a special round partial so standard toolkit wax tray pen cheap tweezers uh, what size is it 27 by 37 apparently which uh, uh, might be picture size actually let's have a look Twenty. Yeah, I mean that's twenty nine. Uh, if we look, it's nearly thirty. In fact, you could call it near as no no uh, near as damn it thirty by. No, oh, I see. Right. Okay. So the picture size is thirty by. 20 but the size on here is 37 by 27 so that's obviously canvas size so 37 yeah by 27 is the canvas size so the actual picture size is 30 by 20 And the code number is YX8032, which I shall check on here. Y. Oh, that says 34. I'm sure that says 34. Hold on. Have they sent me the wrong drills? Seven colour. YX8034 they've sent me. This is YX8032. Hmm. That's unfortunate. So I've arguably I've got the wrong set of drills for this. And I don't know that the colours are gonna be right. Maybe if I could open them. Oh, God damn it. So not only did it take ages to get here, but when it did get here, it's wrong. Um, now, to update you on the couple of canvases that I'd had issues with before. Um, one had come with a ripped bag. The um, find it on here uh, just so that you're aware. Uh, where is it? This one, one of the bags that came was ripped, and the drills were all over the place, so um, it wasn't a full bag when I'd managed to gather together the. The drills that were actually loose in the in the packaging. Um, I messaged the seller. I received no reply. So um, eventually, I put in a dispute, and um, I was refunded the full amount for the painting on the second of February, and the other picture. Uh, which had a, f a full bag missing uh, was this one uh, which again was refunded uh, completely so I've now got a painting that I can't finish because it's I would have liked to have just had the bag of beads that I was missing but Anyway, 
Um, so the problem we've got with this is that arguably they're not the correct. And they look like they might be just, you know, these, number seven is a star. Turn it that way for you. Get my drink out of the way. Um, number seven is a star shape. These. And number seven on here is a star. Um, although, I don't know. Six is a purple colour, five is a green, four is blue, three is gold, two is red, and one is silver. So they're probably fairly universal, but it doesn't have the correct code on it, so I will be getting in touch with the seller, um, because the canvas is YX. 8032 and the code on the bags is YX8034 so it's not correct correct YX8032 uh, came with Drills for YX8034 seller messaged. Alright, seller messaged, which I will, because I, I will write to them. Uh, right. And that's it. Um, show you uh, a bit more close up on the canvas does it look like a dog to you looks like a bear to me I don't know it's it's the roundness of the face and these fluffy bits it just reminds me of a grizzly bear uh, let's see if I can straighten it out a bit. It is a partial, but, you know, the whole of the bear is, it's only really the background, but it's not, um, not drilled. I see, I'm just not sure with the, whether the colours will be right. Um because it's a different set of drills. Uh, let's see if we can look. Number one is an up arrow. Up arrow, number one, clear. Should they be clear? Number two is two diamonds, that's these. And that's red. Mm. They're red. Three is an X. And they're gold. I don't know. It's hard to. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Four. What's four? See, four is blue. And this is four. I don't know. Can't tell what the intention was. Um, anyway, I shall message them. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I am getting near to the end of my... The first painting I started doing, which was my colourful cow. Um, I've only got a third of the painting left to do. And I'm, I have been filming it more or less all the way through. Uh, so I'm going to do a full fast forward video on, on that from start to finish, hopefully. And that should be out in the next week, fingers crossed. Um, I just need to crack on and finish with it 
the problem I'm having is because I'm doing it and filming it, I'm only able to do it when I can get all my um, stuff out to set up and um, and have the camera running, which um, isn't uh, something that I can do all the time for various reasons. Um, but I will have that out soon, hopefully, if you're interested. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. If you do like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to be notified of when I put out any other videos, please subscribe and click the notification bell as well. Much appreciated. Thank you. Bye.